Hey, it's Tara. I just read some really great research uh, that was put out, I believe it was Nature Magazine, and I'll share the link here. And it really was looking at the role that a substance called BDNF, which I always have to look at to say, brain-derived neurotropic factor, which they say is like fertilizer for the brain, keeps cognitive function strong, keeps the brain young. How that BDNF um, is so important for brain health and how that substance is lower in people that suffer from depression and anxiety. Now, of course, the research was looking in directions of, hey, how can we find new medications to increase BDNF in the brain uh, as opposed to serotonin or some of these other drugs that they're using that by and large are not really that effective and have a ton of side effects and are even worse to come off of. So it's exciting research in looking at what might be deficient in a brain that is suffering from depression or anxiety. But there are ways that you can increase BDNF in your brain naturally. And so that's where I would always look to start. What can, if something's deficient, what can you do naturally or with natural supplementation or lifestyle changes or diet? What can you do to increase that uh, to alleviate your symptoms? It's really important that we're looking at the root causes of some of these, these mental health conditions. I want to see if we could explore more drug-free alternatives. And so instead of looking at what the next new, best, stronger, great drug is, there are some things that you can do. The first one is gonna be exercise. Exercise increases BDNF in your brain and it helps reverse age-related cognitive decline, which means that if you're starting to feel like you're less sharp or that your memory's not as good as you get older, exercise can actually help reverse that. So it's essential that everybody start exercising on a daily basis. It's the single best thing that you can do to promote neurogenesis or the promotion of new neurons in the brain, as well as increasing BDNF, which we know now is connected with depression and anxiety. So overall brain health, exercise is gonna be the first thing that you're gonna look at. In addition to sleep, sleep is the great regulator of the nervous system. People that don't get enough sleep, that don't have any mental health conditions, develop symptoms of those mental health conditions and chronic pain. So you always have to look at sleep as one of the prime causes for any of the symptoms that you're having as well. You wanna look at diet, you wanna look at uh, having a, a good set of omega-3 supplements on board. You wanna look at connectedness, um, having connections with other people. They're saying that more kids are reporting anxiety than at any other time in history uh, now. And one of the reasons is um, a sense of environmental threat. Everything's moving at a fast pace and everything is kind of coming at them all at once. At the same time, there's a lack of connectedness. So the family structures have changed. They're feeling less supported. They're feeling less connected. And that's not just with children. That's really across the board, this sense of feeling threat without support. And whether that's real or perceived, the brain and the nervous system don't really care. They're going to respond in the same way. So having healthy connections is another really important thing that you can do for your overall mental health and well-being. You want to look at reducing stress. Chronic stress actually turns on or turns off certain genes and leaves an epigenetic footprint, which means you increase your offspring's risk of any number of conditions through the changes that are happening in your genes from chronic stress. So we know how detrimental chronic stress is to overall health and well-being. It also uh, plays a part in BDNF in your brain. And so that's another thing that you can address is really looking at reducing your amount of stress, increase things like meditation and mindfulness. All of these things work together to naturally promote an increase of this important substance in your brain and can help inoculate you against uh, ongoing depression and anxiety and certainly will improve whatever you're struggling with right now. So I will list all of these out for you. I hope you try them first. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. We can have a conversation about this. And until next time, I hope you're well.